Shopee review. We check for you. Being a content creator can sometimes mean hitting a creative block and being in a constant state of finding new ways to produce better content. Well, luckily for us, in the year 2022, DJI released a couple of new products for us to use. Starting off with the DJI Mini 3 Pro and the DJI Mic. I'm really excited to see what they offer to the table and also mainly because I've never fly a drone before. So this is gonna be an interesting one. So now that we've got the unboxing out of the way, let's see what we actually got inside the box itself. Here you get this very beautiful black pouch, right? Inside, I believe, are a bunch of cables. Yes, you get your 3.5 and also the fluffy windshield. Very important stuff. So we're gonna put that to the side first because it's pretty straightforward. And let's talk about the real deal right here. Now, I find it interesting because they went for this charging case design, which really reminds me of wireless earbuds, right? The moment I open it, the display on the receiver automatically on. There's a lot of things inside that we will go through one by one, but I want to talk about the receiver. From here, you can see there's two 3.5 millimeter jack and also hot shoe, your Type-C port and your on button. But what I want to talk about is this mini display that comes with it, which is touch screen as well. Now you can control everything just on this tiny display, right? Everything is so tiny. You can go through settings, you can adjust the volume, the receiver gain, and whether you want to record in mono or stereo. And I really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and talk about the compatibility with a camera. So let's say if you have a camera, right? All you have to do is just attach the receiver to your camera and plug in the 3.5 jack that comes with it. But not only that, let's talk about action cam and smartphones. Well, that is where it gets interesting as well because what you'll be getting, a lightning port and also a Type-C port. So you attach this to the receiver and connect it to your action cam like so, right? And there you have it, a complete setup that doesn't require a huge bag to carry around. Okay, so now that we've gotten the receiver out of the way, let's talk about the transmitter. Starting off with the power button, which is pretty straightforward for you to switch on and off. And then you got your Type-C port, which allows you to just plug in the Type-C and connect it to your laptop or your smartphone and just drag and drop for easier file transfer. Now on the other side, what you'll be getting is a sync button. And over here, there's a record button. So you might be wondering, what is this record button for? So let's say you're in a scenario where the receiver is connected to your action cam and then the transmitter is with you. There was an audio interference that's happening between the receiver and the camera. DJI included this record button which allows this transmitter to act as a recording device on its own. So you'll have backup on this device right here. And how it's able to do that is by having an 8 gigabytes of memory on board which allows it to record up to 14 hours. It can actually record up to 250 meters. You also have dual channel recording, you know, which allows you to record two different sounds at once. Each of this unit right here will last up to five hours and the charging case itself will last up to 15 hours of battery life. Now to actually put this product into a test, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be recording this entire review through the DJI mic. And the last part is this right here. You might be wondering why is there a 3.5 millimeter jack? So let's say you've already owned a lav mic and you want to be a little bit more hidden with your presentation, just simply Plug this in, put this in your pocket, and you're good to go. All of this will retail at the price of 1,599 ringgit. Let's go ahead and see what do we actually have inside the box. A quick disclaimer, there are two versions of the DJI Mini 3 Pro. The first one being the DJI Mini 3 Pro Single and also the Mini 3 Pro DJI RC. The one we have right now is Mini 3 Pro DJI RC because of the fact that the controller has a screen on it as to the previous one that I mentioned earlier doesn't have any screen. Let's jump straight into the drone. As you guys can see, it has a pretty small form factor with the weight being 249 grams and the battery on itself is just 80 
grams. So that's a lightweight champion right there. Now in terms of design, it's a lot different than the Mini 2 and also the Mini SE where you can see there's a gap here which allows the camera to move a lot more freely. What you'll be getting new on this drone right here is traditionally they would go for a sensor on top and on the bottom. But this one, we have three different sensor which is one at the bottom, two at the back and two on the front right here. Other than that, also you'll be getting a longer propeller compared to the previous models. Okay, now that we've done an overview of the drone, let's focus our attention to the controller. So from the get-go, you guys can already see that there's a 5.5-inch display with 700 nits peak of brightness, right? Which allows you to use it outside. In front here, you'll also be getting this joystick, which is for you to control the drone, of course, right? Which is also removable that you can keep it at the back of the controller for safekeeping. Now in the front, you have your power button, different modes that you can go with, which is sports mode, normal mode, and also cinematic mode for you. And last but not least, on the front, you'll be having this home button. So let's say you've done with shooting. All you have to do is just click this button and the drone will come fly back to you. On the bottom part, you'll be getting a Type-C port right here for charging purposes. And if you open this flap up, what you'll be getting is a micro SD slot and another Type-C. Now, what is this for? Interestingly enough, this controller actually allows you to do screen recording. DJI managed to include the Fly More Kit for me. So what you'll be getting inside of this Fly More Kit is extra propellers, extra batteries, extra cable for charging, and also a charging dock. But the best part that comes with it is this beautiful premium kind of bag. This bag can actually fit everything that is on the table right now. And with all that being said, I'm also sure that you guys are wondering what's the price of all of this. Now remember when I said there's a DJI Mini 3 Pro single, the one without the screen on the controller, that will cost you 3,399 ringgit. And as for the Mini 3 Pro DJI RC, it will cost you 4,199 ringgit. And if you add the Fly More Kit, which costs 800 ringgit, everything will total up to 4,999 ringgit. Okay, so we're finally here in an outdoor park with an open air field where we can fly this drone and test it out. But just before we do that, I want to quickly touch base about the sensors and the camera of this drone. The sensor, you'll be getting three sensors like I mentioned earlier, the front, back and the bottom, which is a 1 over 1.3 CMOS sensor. The front, back and bottom is already good enough for you to fly around safely. So you guys might be wondering, why is the camera moving around a lot, brother? Well, it is actually equipped with a 3-axis gimbal. It allows you to switch the orientation of your camera quickly. You'll be getting a really good tilt, pan, and also roll, which allows it to be a lot more stabilized compared to just a static camera on the drone itself. Now, in terms of the camera quality itself, the video is able to record from 1080p up to 4K resolution and it also allows you to record 120 FPS slow motion but only capped at a 1080p resolution. Now in terms of photo, you'll be getting the crisp clear image because it can catch up to 48 megapixels. But what also makes it really great is the fact that you are able to shoot it in a normal mode and a cine-like mode which complements the whole setup. So one of the many things that are really great about this Mini 3 Pro is the fact that it's actually capable of going all the way up to a 12 kilometer distance and the height of 500 meters. And on top of that, it's actually traveling at a 57 kilometers per hour speed. So that's pretty nice. Okay, korang ingat tak tadi at the studio, I told you guys that I can actually change the orientation from horizontal to vertical with a single tap of a button. Now check this out. Pretty sick, isn't it? All right, so one of the best features that comes with this DJI Mini 3 Pro is the fact that it actually has active tracking. Now you see, if I move in front, it'll move backward. Now I'll turn around and it'll actually follow me as well. There right there is a pretty smart feature because right now, as I'm walking, it'll actually constantly follow me. So it's pretty good if you're doing like, a, you know, content that are revolving, requires you to walk while you talk, you don't have to constantly control this while you talk. So you just let it be, track you, and you're good to go. Now, I know a lot of you who are, you know, who's quite a beginner in terms of content creation, can get pretty intimidated with the fact that it's a 
drone. However, what I'm really amazed by this DJI Mini 3 Pro is the fact that they include this smart feature called the Master Shot. So all you have to do is just tap on the screen and the drone will actually go around the subject based on the distance as well to create a number of clips and shots for you to use on your videos. There's multiple modes called Drony, Pickup and all that which you can choose yourself. So it's pretty cool too. All right, so we had a lot of fun outdoor today. So you guys can see hari pun dah gelap, so I think it's best to wrap things up. But before that, let me just share with you guys what do I think of the DJI Mini 3 Pro and also the DJI Mic. These two made a sick combo, if I were to be honest. Throughout the entire time of the review, I've been having this mic clipping on me, right? And I think the audio quality should sound sick. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. And as for the DJI Mini 3 Pro, however, I think I had a lot of fun. And the best part about it is I've never fly a drone before. And I think it's such an entry level drone. It's really beginner friendly. It's not as intimidating as you think it is. So I would recommend you guys to try it out as well. And it definitely helped me open my eyes in terms of creativity. That is my review on the DJI Mini 3 Pro and also the DJI Mic. Definitely leave a comment section down below which shot was the best for you. So as per usual, don't forget to smash that like button, click share, click subscribe and that notification bell too so you don't miss out on the future videos like this. So that is it. I've been your host Bradley Tipa. I had a lot of fun today but I think it's time to wrap things up. So I'll see you guys next time, alright?